Hello, you guys. It's your girl, Saquita. Um, in this video, I'll be doing a get ready with me, showing you how I do my makeup when I'm getting ready to go somewhere, um, and talking about decorating your base housing. So if you want to know about either one of those, stay tuned and watch my video. All right, so I'm going to start with my primer. And today I'm using Aussie. know if it's coming in focus or not but that's the primer I'm gonna be using it's our fooey our pool hi I don't know y'all um smooth mirror smooth high gloss primer I'll try to put it on there one more time for you guys to see there you go came in focus all right so that's the primer I'm gonna use and I just Put it on the back of my hand, squirt a little on the back of my hand, and then I use my finger to dab it all over my face. And I like this primer, even though I don't really know the name of it, because it doesn't give that like white kind of ashy after look. And then I use my fingers to just rub it in. And after I use my fingers to rub it in, I smooth it out with this brush. And voila. And then I'm gonna let it set for a little while so I can get my skin, close up all those pores. So while we're doing that, while we're waiting on that to close up my pores and stuff, I'm just going to talk about um, trying to decorate and make your base housing look more homey. Um, it's hard. <laughs> First off, let me start by saying trying to make base housing look homey and inviting and lived in but still elegant and beautiful is not an easy task but I'll give you some tricks of the trade um, that you might not have known about in the past. There's um, helpful groups on Facebook that uh, not only show you examples of what you can do with certain base housing you usually it'll tell you what base it is and what the housing looks like and then you can be like oh well I live in that kind of housing and then they'll show you what they've done with their housing and usually it's like oh my god that base housing are you serious what kind of time do you have on your hands um but it really doesn't take that much time it does take a little effort but not that much time to make your base housing go from this tacky whatever they <laughs> I call it air force white walls and they just look it just looks plain and it looks boring and it's not fun but one of those groups is called white walls white walls it's a group on facebook um and it's for military families just to see um what can be done with base housing and to also get help um get advice on what they can do with their base housing and make it look more presentable more homey more lived in um, also, what I have found is every base that you go to usually has something called a swap page and it's where you can purchase items from other people who live on the base like TV stands, televisions, dressers, um, you name it, they usually have that on the swap page. Um, I live at Yakota, so Yakota swap and new Yakota swap page. Um, it, Yakota also has a freebies page. It's Yakota freebies and everything on that page, people are giving you things away because usually when they PCS, when people PCS, they don't want to take a whole lot of junk 
with them, especially if they don't think either their housing is going to be big enough or accommodate any of the item, or if they don't think they're going to have use of the item anymore when they move. And so uh, those pages are really, really helpful when it comes to trying to make your house look more like a home. Um, I know I keep saying make it homey, make it look like a home, but you guys understand what I'm saying, right? If you don't, please, in the comments, ask away. Ask all the questions you want. Um, but usually each base uh, has its own little community of crafts or crafters. It also has their own like vendors for each base and the, they usually advertise on those pages on um, the swap pages and the freebies page and um, other groups that that are tending to the base like for example Yakota families and moms there's a whole page of moms that are trying to get advice on their kids and trying to um, hook, hook up play dates and usually they will advertise if they have a small business on base on that page as well um but now i'm gonna get in with my eyebrows and then i'll come back to that subject just give me one moment so for my eyebrows i use the uh black radiant um continuous cream eyeliner yeah, that's what I use. It is thick. It came with this really, really, really bulky brush that I do not use because if you use it, your eyebrows going to be looking like this. And no one has time for going in and trying to thin out eyebrows that are blocky and huge. So instead, I usually use my um, asymmetrical brush, I guess that's what it's called. Yep, that's the brush I use. I spray a little water on it on both sides. Wet it a little bit and then I go in with the brush. I just uh, take the color to one side. And first I'm going to make the line across the top and then a line across the bottom. And then I'll make the angle for my arch, okay? So that's what I'm about to do. And I'm going to do it in this mirror here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it still. But let's angle you over so you can see too okay and I always start my line a little bit before where my hair actually fills in but I stop it right at where I want that arch to be on the top and the same thing for the bottom I started a little bit before and then I stop it right at the arch okay so that's what we started with right there and then I make my arch again and then the bottom and then I fill it in like so going in the same directions that I want the hairs to go in. So for the tail end of my arch, I go down. And then for the main part of my eyebrow, I go up. Alright, and you want to fill it in pretty good. So that's what we got so far. Don't worry, it's not gonna end up like that, okay? <laughs> so then you go to, then I take my brush. It's like a wooly, I don't even know. It's like an eyebrow brush. And this one happens to come with an end with a pencil, an eyebrow pencil on it, but I don't use that when I'm actually going somewhere. So today I'm actually getting ready to go do something I use the other end when I'm just like lounging around or going to the grocery store or whatever but I take the brush and then I brush out the hairs to make them look more natural okay 
Okay. All right. And then I go ahead and I do the other eyebrow. And it needs a little more. It's, it got a little dry on me. I don't know what's going on with the brush. Probably time for me to clean them. For one. <laughs> yeah. So just do the same thing. Make my line on top of my eyebrow. Okay. And make the other one underneath my eyebrow. And then the arch. And then fill in the tail and fill in the main brow. I'm gonna go ahead and make this tail a little longer so it can match the other one. And they do not match right now. Okay. And then I take my brush again on this eyebrow. And for some reason, this eyebrow always comes out better than the other one. Maybe it's the way I tweeze it or what, but I'd be like, why both of them can't look like that? Anywho. That's what I do to fill in my eyebrows. And now we're going to line, line my eyebrows. So, everything I'm using I eat, or is, is cheap. One, A is cheap. Yes, yes. I am a cheapskate. I have good skin. Um, I don't have to worry about breakouts and stuff like that. So, it doesn't matter what I use on my face. Um, yeah, I was blessed. Thank God. Hallelujah. Um, but it's mostly cheap stuff or stuff that you can get on base at the BX, etc. So, yeah. So then I'm going to take this brush and a foundation that is lighter than me. You can, yes, it comes with a mirror so you can see all the reflective. But you can use um, a concealer if you want to. But I like the way this foundation does me. And it's a black opal um, cream to powder foundation. It's in the color Truly Topaz. Um, black opal Truly Topaz. So I just take my brush and wet it a little bit like I did the other one. And then I take a little bit of, of the foundation. And I start underneath. And create a line. And I take a little bit more of the foundation. And I go above. And what it is doing is like cleaning up all the places that you messed up and also creating a crisper distinction between your eyebrow and um, the rest of your makeup once you apply it. Trying to make sure my line underneath is straight all the way across. Giving me a little bit of trouble right here. 
but it's no big deal. We gon' fix it. All right, and then you do the same thing, outlining your tail. Again, across the top, and outline my tail. I'm not a professional, but I do what works for me. Disclaimer. Okay. Um, so then the other side. those are my eyebrows moving on um so then i just take uh this brush and my bottle of water with the spray tip and i spray the brush i like spraying my brushes it makes them it makes the makeup go on smoother to me um so it's this brush right here and i'm taking that same foundation and I'm going under my eyes. Get rid of these dirt. These bags. So what I'm really doing is just using this foundation as a concealer. So if you want to go in with your concealer, that's perfectly fine. I mean, I just find that this goes on smoother and it blends better with my other makeup, my actual foundations and my contour, which I use another foundation as my darkening for my contour. So just go in and lighten this up right here. And I'm also going to lighten up all of the other um, deep lines in my face. So my smile line here here and then this dimpled line on my chin i'm going to lighten it up as well so that's what i'm gonna do all right and that's that's it mm. That's not it. Then I'm going to take the same brush and go directly down the center of my nose. So this is my beginning palette. Okay. So then I take my sponge. And voila. And then more water. Wet my sponge. On the flat end. And I'm gonna go in with spreading this out. Just a little bit. As you see, I didn't go in and spread anything deeper in. So now I'm going to take my flesh toned um, foundation and Disclaimer, it is not what's actually in here. It's, this is not what's actually in here anymore. Um, I use, I can find it, you guys. The True Match L'Oreal C6. And it's flesh tone for me. And then for my dark contour, I use the C8 the C8 yep so that's the C8 and I don't know if you saw this one clearly but it's the C6 that is flesh tone for me and I find that it's easier for it to go on if I put it into a palette so this is an old palette of 
that I used that I've cleaned out and then started pouring in the other makeup and the same thing for um the C8 I just use an old palette that I've cleaned out and I just uh pour it in there so now I'm gonna take my larger brush spray it with water and then dip it into the foundation and prepare to color my skin. So, I take the foundation first across my lower jawline. As you can see, I haven't put any makeup on, but I have this natural deep contour of my face. There's nothing there yet, but there will be because I'm going to make it come back out after I finish doing all this crap to my face. <laughs> and then I take it the long way across my cheek. And the same thing on this side, take it across my cheek. And then I spread it a little bit on my lower jaw. And then come over here and spread it a little bit on my lower jaw. So it actually needs a little more. And then I bring it down. Not on my laugh line, right next to my laugh line. So I don't want to get rid of the highlight that I just put there, but I do want to help it blend by putting it as close as possible. So then, my forehead. Okay. And that's what I do with this brush. Then I go in again, but not with the same end. I wet the pointed end of my sponge. I just got water all over my mirror. I don't know how I managed to do that. Not paying attention. That's how I managed to do that, you guys. Right? So then I go in and I blend it in with what I already have on my face. And this is when you actually go in and blend. Blend, 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 blend. And then up here. All right. Okay, so then I take this flat in and then I'm gonna go in and blend my eyebrows in with everything else, okay? Periodically, we re-wetting my sponge so that it can do what it's supposed to do. So much better, right? Who, who would have thought that was a big old block when we started, right? Ooh, ooh, correction game on fleet. Is that still a thing? Is fleet still a thing? I don't know. I'm an old lady. Bear with me. 
All right, so then, going in with the C8. And a small brush, boom, and some water again. Spray the brush and dip it into the C8. I'm gonna go down the side of my nose. On my cheek line, right here. The same on the other side, down my cheek line. And then around my hairline. And on my ch chin line. Help define my chin line. And right on the tip of my chin, I want to come up just a bit and stop it right there. Okay? That's what I do. Then I take a whole nother that's just a whole sponge that's just for the darker tone. Just wipe it away because I keep spreading my mirror and I need to be able to see. Yeah. All right. So I take my sponge that's been sprayed and I just go down my jawline and my hairline. Mm -hmm. The hairs are escaping. Mm -hmm. And my nose. Mm -hmm. Do -do -do. And then match a line. Do -do 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 little singing for you guys there all right all right it's getting on my hair I have to brush that off all right so I'm done with the foundations, the highlighting, well, the contouring, and my regular foundation, all of that. So this is our, this is what I like to call our baseline. So whatever we do from here is just extra. Um, if I'm not really going anywhere, this is where I stop, put some little stuff on my lips, and keep it going. Um, but then I put petroleum on my lips. It's too bright. I'm going to try to shade it out. There we go. That's the petroleum I use. Just a little bit on my lips to hydrate them. And I'll let that sit while I'm about to do everything else, right? So, let my lips get a little hydrated. And now I'm going to go in with my highlighting stick. It's a Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Highlighter Stick. Yes. Revlon. Makes it so easy. I take a little, I go down my nose. I go down my cheek. Above where I use the dark. So right here. 
And then the same thing on the other side. Over here. Right? And I like to do a little bit on my, like, the center of my head. Just a little. And it fell out of the packaging. Because I've had it for so long. Yeah, because I don't really use makeup that often. And then I take a different sponge. This time I do not spray it with water. And I just get rid of the harsh line of it. And the same thing on this side. Now I got highlights. There we go. And then, now I'm going to do eyeliner, mascara, etc., etc., blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going to use black today for my eyeliner. I use a sponge because I don't want my fingerprint to be in there, but I still end up having to, like, splotch out where I use the sponge anyway. So, it's completely up to you whether you use the sponge or not. And I am not a wing kind of girl. I just want to put enough curler on the bottom to make it look like I have more eyelashes than I do on the bottom. And then the same thing for the other side. Boom. And then up here. And I go from out to in. I find it easier because I have so much extra skin um, on my eyelid. I don't know why I have so much extra skin, but I do. So when I try to go in to out, it bunches together. And it sucks. <laughs> so I go out to in. <laughs> Yeah. You're going all the way to my tear duct. Okay. And then I'm going to use Mega Length Mascara by Wet n Wild on my bottom lashes um just because i like the way the brush can like get in and like grip my bottom lashes better than other brushes so uh back to decorating your house while i'm putting this mascara on my little bitty baby lashes on the bottom um so i told you about a group called um white walls on Facebook. They have a lot of other miniature groups, like spin-off groups called sister groups, I guess. They're called sister groups. Um and one of those sister groups is White Walls Market. And what White Mall Walls Market is is where people who are crafty or vendors uh who are military affiliated get on and they sell things um they sell ornaments they sell tables they sell um wreaths etc etc to help you decorate your home using those items um and they are really good because they are usually um more than not more than you would find in other sales groups um outside of military affiliation um, they are base housing approved, which is hard to find because you're not supposed to put holes in the wall. Some base housing you can't paint. If you do paint, you have to paint it back to whatever color it was. Yes, it's not fun, but it's doable. And that's all I'm trying to get you guys to see is that it's doable. So now I've got the bottom lashes done. And now I'm going to do the... Top lashes with Wet n Wild Mega Protein. Mega Protein. 
Um, and again, it's because I like the brush. That's the brush for the Mega Pro 10. It grips my big, long top lashes better than anything else that I've tried using. Um, so yeah, that's a really good group to get in. But you have to be a part of White Walls group before you can get accepted to any of the sister groups. Um, so if you're trying to become a part of White Wall Market or you're trying to become a part of White Wall Holidays or White Wall Christmas or White Wall Crafts, then you have to first be a part of the main White Wall group. And the one question that they ask when you, when you join or uh, request to join the White Walls group is how are you military affiliated? Um, if you're a military spouse like me, you just put spouse. I just put spouse anyway. Um, they're not looking for a long essay on how you, how your great grandfather was in the military and your brother's in the military and your dad's in the military. They just need one affiliation. Um, and once you put that one affiliation, they they'll review it and add you if they deem it um, acceptable affiliation or deny your request and mine got accepted really fast uh, within 24 hours of the request so you're not sitting there waiting for forever um, to get a response to it um, another way that you can use another resource I guess you can use to um, decorate your home is the Airman's Attic. Um, if you are or you're married to E4 or below, the Airman's Attic has furniture in it that they will allot you to take with you. It's free. You just walk in, you give your um, ID, they copy it on your um, sponsor's number, um, and then you just look around, grab a basket, get what you need. They have clothes, they have toys, they have um belts and accessories they have shoes they have glasses they have books they have everything everything um and it's free it's a resource for you to use and a lot of times it doesn't get used and then they have to shut down the resource so rather than taking away from what can potentially be a great resource Use it, people. Use it. It's there to be used. Um, so, yeah. Just use it. Um, Emerson's Attic is great. Um, what else? Do you fix it shop? It's a self-help shop. I don't know what it's called on other bases, but here it's called You Fix It. Um, and it has, like, a crap load of stuff. And it, again, it's free. You just go in, get what you need. When you check out, you just give your ID to the uh, registrar, and then they copy down your sponsor's um, number, and that's it. But it is, it has um, lawn mowing stuff, it has weed cutting stuff, it has light fixture stuff, it has stuff, those eyes for your stove, it has replace, replaceable eyes. And the um, catchers that go under the eye for the stove has replaceable catchers. Um, it has nuts and bolts and fences. It has it has a lot of stuff in it. All you have to go in and do is look around, get what you need, um, and check out. It has nails and wood, and it has everything. It it really is a lifesaver when you're trying to build something um, from scratch or whatever. So now I'm just trying to determine what kind of lipstick I'm going to use. I'm probably going with a maroon color. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with a maroon. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm not going with the maroon. I'm going with the brown. So, with going with the brown, I'm going to use my brown eyeliner. Um, my brown lip liner, sorry. Um, it's a black radiance color. Black radiance color 5026. 
Black Radiance 5026. This is what it looks like. It's like a goldish brown. It's gonna look kind of nude on me and that is great. That's what I'm going for. So by now, the petroleum that I've used on my lips has kind of sunken into my lips. Still hydrating, but it's not, it's not so much that I can't put liner on. Does that make sense? It's still going to allow the liner to go in smoothly. So when I line my lips, I don't just do one line across the lip. I try to fill in the sides to do this kind of, I guess, a kind of ombre look. But it makes the lip look better to me than just doing a line around the perimeter. Okay, so as you can see, I filled in a little bit on each side. I'm going to do the same thing to the top. Okay, so that's it for that. And then I'll take the lipstick. And that's it so now I'm gonna take my scarf off and finish everything up and yeah so I have take my ah, what happens when you take your scarf off too fast yes Rawr. the hair just comes at you like Rawr. I don't know why that little hair did that to me. And that, my friends, is how I do my makeup. And a little bit of makeup got on that. So, where is my brush? Brushing the makeup out of my hair. And brushing my hair. Alright. That's what I got. No, I didn't put eyeshadow on. Cause it's still like a daytime thing and I like no eyeshadow for daytime things especially since I'm going with a kind of dark lip I don't think I need any all right all right so that's all I have for you guys um don't forget to like 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 and subscribe to my channel um share it too you guys come on share it with your friends let them see what's going on on my page um all of the all of my social media outlets will be in the description box if you have any questions comments criticisms anything you want to get off your chest make sure you comment below i do look at my comments and i respond so get down there and talk y'all talk 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 um if you have any suggestions for the future for what you want to see on my channel um just comment i'll see it and we will talk about it all right so thank you for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and share peace